Hi, I'm Kevin Neal, and this is Laugh Lessons, where we try to teach kids the art of comedy. Our comedy teacher this week is Ellen DeGeneres. She's going to teach the kids how to use props, how to improvise, and the importance of timing. And to do that, she brought in some old technology, which these kids may not be that familiar with. So here she is. Hello. Oh, thank you very much. That what a wonderful greeting, and I applaud you as well. Thank you for applauding. What's your name? I'm Rebecca. Oh, well, hello, Rebecca. I'm Ellen. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice Real to meet name you, too. William. Instead of Trey, they call me Trey for short. All right, for short. But you want me to call you Trey or William? William. Oh, well, if we're short on time, I'm going to call you Trey, <laughs> OK, to make it. OK, so Rebecca and Trey, William. Um, I brought an item, and I would like you to tell me what this is. Do you know what it is? Oh, I know phone. what it is. And it's, a, it's a, not any ordinary phone. It's an olden time phone. Yeah, How they old? used to back in the day. Back in the day. When you say back in the day and you say an old time phone, wh how long ago do you think this was used? Oh, 100. 100 years ago? Yeah, it doesn't even have no FaceTime. <laughs> no, I mean, it does. You could do it, but then no one would see it. You'd just be talking right into the phone. Like, and like if somebody walked in, they would be like, why are you talking into a phone? Right, and then they'd haul you away and put you in the loony bin. Yeah, yeah. loony bin. Yeah, you know. Do you know what this is? Um. First, you have to find the on button. Uh, All right, you don't have to turn it on. Just put that in. I'm just kidding with you. OK. Do you know how to make a call on that thing? Mm -mm. I'll show you. Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> OK, you have the wrong number. Mm -hmm. That's how you would do it. OK, look what I bring. A look phone. At that. It is a phone. That is correct. Do you know how to dial the number on that? No. Let me try. Try it, try it out. So, let me try. Is there any dial you? button? There's no automatic dial. If you didn't know somebody's phone number, because you couldn't have an automatic dial in there, you'd have to call information. And a real human being, a lady, would answer. And she'd talk to you. She'd say, how can I help you? Her name was Barbara, or Rhonda, or Valerie, or Rebecca, or you know, Cindy, or Sharon, or you know, Sandy, or I don't know. It would be a, a lady's name. And, and then she would say, how can I help you? She was friendly and had all the time in the world. And you'd ask for, and she'd like go, I'll connect you, Charlie. She'd talk like that. <laughs> and she'd put out her cigarette, because people would put stupid back then smoke. This? Tell me what this is. It's like a radio, but it has a speaker, so you can talk through. It was a recording machine, so if you, someone called and you weren't home, they would leave a message. Like, here, you're calling me, and then oh. I'll, I'll leave the message. Hi, it's Ellen. I'm not here right now. I'll leave a message, and I'll call you back. OK. Beep. Oh, I didn't, I didn't give you enough time. OK, <laughs> let me try it again. Hey, it's Ellen. I'm not home, but if you leave a message, I'll call you back. Hi, um, call me back when you get a chance. Beep. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't leave enough time. OK. Hey, it's Ellen. I'm not home. Leave a message, and I'll call you back. Um. Beep. Hi, it's Ellen. I'm not home. Leave a message, and I'll call you back. Hi. Um. Call me back when you can. Beep. You didn't say your name. Try it again. Hey, it's Ellen. I'm not home. Leave a message, and I'll call you back. Hi, it's Rebecca. Call Beep. me back. <laughs> this is Ellen. Leave a message, and I'll call you back. Hi, it's Rebecca, and call me back. Beep. You had a lot more time. You had so much more time. Yeah, yeah, All right, let's try it. We'll let William try it. Hi, this is Ellen. Leave a message, and I'll call you back. Hi, this is William, Beep. and I'll send you Beep. Oh, man. Hi, this is Ellen. Leave a message, and I'll call you back. Um, Beep. Uh, Hi, this is Ellen. I'm not home. Leave a message, and I'll call you back. Hi, this is William, and I'll call you back. Well, 
you're going to call me back, why'd you leave a message? <laughs> uh. <laughs> machine is so complicated. I know, it's just so complicated. That's why they got rid of it. We have to wrap it up because I have to get going. You have a microphone, go ahead and say whatever you want to say or sing whatever you want to sing. Um, beep. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this thing doesn't work. What do volcanoes eat for dinner? Is it ash potatoes? No, paint drops. Awkward. <laughs> okay, you two kids, it's been lovely talking to you. I'll walk you out. Okay. Bye, everyone. Nice <laughs> seeing you. <laughs> Bye. Well, I got to meet Ellen, and it was a very fun experience because I've actually never met, like, a celebrity before, and I know she's a really big celebrity. So it was a lot of... Hi, I'm TV's Kevin Nealon, and this is Laugh Lessons. Each week we have a professional comedian trying to teach a kid how to do comedy. It's always a lot of fun. Some people make fun of themselves. It's called self-deprecating humor. Like me, I would say, when I was little, they used to call me spuds because my head looked like a potato. <laughs>